Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentation. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Hello and welcome to assignment number one with Microsoft PowerPoint. What you see on the screen is a finished product of the first assignment. We're going to create a report based on the business plan for your business that you created way back at the first assignment. You notice here that I have on the screen PowerPoint in one window and then in the next window behind it is the business plan document that you created some time ago. Now rather than reinvent the assignment, we're going to simply copy and paste the items from one document into the other. And so what you'll see when you're done is a slideshow with seven different slides in it. And then you can make a speech giving your perhaps your partners, your investment partners, an idea of what your business will do and how you plan to accomplish it. So let's go through this process one step at a time. I'm going to close this here, but leave my document open that I created some time ago. Let's go with Microsoft PowerPoint and create a blank slideshow. Now you'll see that there's lots of different templates to choose from. I'm going to simply choose the one called Droplet because I think that will work with my pool company, but there are many more here in the list that you can choose from. So clicking Droplet. And then I even get four options for what kind of droplet I want. I'm going to choose the bluish colored one and then choose create. And I will be started on my presentation in just a minute here. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to reduce the size of my screen so that I can see both documents on the screen at the same time. Up here in the top right corner is a button called restore down. It's right next to the close button, so be careful how you click here. Clicking restore down will give you a floating window instead of a full screen. And so a floating window allows you to move the window around by clicking on the title of the window. So the first slide that comes up is our title. Let's go to our document here on Word and highlight just the part called the company name. I'm going to choose right clicking and copy and then come back over to here right click in this square and choose paste. Now there are some options on paste that you will notice make a difference. Destination theme is the first choice that is referring to the style of fonts that we're getting when we paste. The source formatting supposedly comes from what was in Microsoft Word, although it doesn't look like the format of the, for the font there. We could paste it as a picture. That would be bad because it wouldn't let us edit the picture and then straight text without any formatting. Let's just choose the first one. We'll use the destination theme for the slideshow. And the next item here is our words uh, in our name. Let's copy this and it will become our subtitle over on this side. And so pasting it there. Okay, how to create a new slide. You go up to the home area and there's a new slide option. Now, when you choose a new slide, there are many different kinds of slides that you can create for your slideshow. The most common one is the second. It's called Title and Content. I'll click there, although you could take a look at some of the others. Let's go here and our slide comes up. It says we'll have a title and then this area down here is an area for lots of different contents. We could click here to create a new table, a chart, we could make uh, smart graphics, videos or pictures, uh, or we could just type in some text. Our text is what we're going to use next. So I'm going to go back to the Word document and copy the word contents. 
or double click it, choose right click and copy. And then I want to put that up here in the title. So I'll right click there and paste. So the first thing that you do in any speech is tell your audience what you're going to say, a preview. And so a table of contents is a good thing for the first slide. I'll choose copy and then over to here and choose paste. Okay, you notice that Microsoft PowerPoint automatically assigns bullets, bullet points they're called, to start new paragraphs. That works for most items, but I want to change these. Instead of bullets, I'm going to actually use numbers. So up here on the ribbon, you can see that we have a numbering item instead of just bullets. Let's click there, and now we have numbered one through five. A new slide will come next, and we will copy the first item called products and services. So let's go over to here and select the title, right click it, copy it, back to the slide, right click on the slide area, and paste. Now you notice I have an extra line here. If I press delete, it centers the text vertically. Now let's go back to copy the paragraph. And when I select the entire line, I'm going to have multiple lines of text. And now here is an item that you might not think of on your first presentation. When you give a speech, PowerPoint is not supposed to be the main attraction. You are the main attraction as the speaker. PowerPoint is there to help you not become a book on the wall. And so your, the rule of thumb here is to reduce the number of words on a slide so that an audience can read the entire slide in just a few seconds. This is probably too many words, so I'm going to select some words and delete them. So this part where it gives details about what kind of items we'll sell, I'm going to select that and press delete. And then the next item is the services. Let's press enter at the beginning of that line to create a new bullet point. And we want to fill the screen with our words, so I will increase the font size. Okay, and so now we have uh, maybe uh, we're getting a little bit wordy on the slide, but we have enough words there to get our idea across. One more thing that you might want to do to create a, a more readable slide is to do what's called animations. If I click on the square around this text frame and go up to animations, it will allow me to choose ways to only show one line at a time. So let's pick one called fly in. Now you see that they fly in one at a time. So when we go to make our presentation, we will see only one sentence at a time. Let's do a preview of our presentation. Down here on the bottom, we have four icons that allow us to change the view of our slide. I'm going to pick the slideshow view right now and let's see what a projector would look like when we show our slide. And so this slide shows only the title. If I press the space bar or click the mouse, it slides in one sentence. And then I press the space bar again and then the next sentence comes in. Now if I press the space bar again, we've reached the end of our show and it turns black. And I press the space bar one more time and I'm back into the editing mode. Now I'm going back to home and I'm going to insert a new slide and go back to store design. This will become somewhat repetitive so let's just pause the video and I'll be back in a second and you'll see all of my slides in PowerPoint. Okay you can see I've got seven slides created each one of them came directly from this document about my business plan. You notice I modified some of these slides, like I put things in numbers that need to be numbered lists. I've reduced the text so that there's fewer words the audience can read. It gives me more opportunity to just explain what subject I'm on, and I can talk about the details during my speech. One thing that every first-time user of PowerPoint just loves to do is experiment with transitions. Transitions are what happens when you move from one slide to the next. Um, they're not recommended usually if you want to keep the focus on the speaker. They're fun to use, but they are very distracting. Let's take a look at what they are and you'll see what I mean. So if I choose a transition such as dissolve, you will see that this slide will come onto the screen in a graphical transition. They're just dissolved from one slide to the other. 
One way to easily see all the transitions is called the slide sorter view. If I click this button here, the second view, you will see all the slides appear in the window as if they were the old-fashioned photographic slides sitting on a light table, a piece of glass with a light under it. If I maximize the screen, you'll see them all there. You can actually move these slides around at this time if you wanted to, like if you wanted to put contents for some reason at slide position number five. Uh, I'm going to put it back to where it came from. But the idea is that you can reorder your slides. Also, this is a good place to work on your transitions. If I want to pick a different one, such as airplane, you can see that the airplane will be folded and fly off. Let's see what some of the other transitions might look like. What does shredding do? Does it actually rip my paper up? And it kind of looks like a paper shredder. See what I mean by distractions? Sometimes people are more entertained by your computer than they are by the wonderful message that you're bringing. But experiment and have fun. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now when I'm done, I want to practice my presentation. So I would go back to the first slide here and then prepare to give your speech. You would click the button that says slideshow and pretend you're talking to your audience. You say, hello, good afternoon, investors. I hope that you will give me lots of money for my business. I'm going to talk to you today about crystal pools and the business plan that we have. As a good speech person, I'm going to tell you what we're going to say and then say it and then give you a summary of what I said. So here's the contents of what you will learn today. Then we go right into the next item. We talk about the products and services we sell and the great need for swimming pool services in Phoenix. And then we go to the next slide. We talk about how great of a store design we're going to create. We're going to have an online presence. We're going to have a catalog. We're going to have service departments, etc. Then you keep talking about our customers and so on. And so when you reach the end of your slideshow, you come to the point where you say, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for everything that you've done for me. And now I want you to give me money, please. And this might be the most important speech that you make of your life as you start your new business. So there it is, how to create a simple slideshow with Microsoft PowerPoint. Save it and you're ready to move on.